Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're having a great day, great time, great whatever, evening, afternoon, whatever it is. Today, let's talk about organic versus paid marketing a little bit here. They're both great, right? They both work exceptionally well for what they do. And there's positives and negatives to both. But if you if you com combine, if you implement both strategies together, it's very powerful. Like organic, <coughs> organic, you don't have much for control, right? You don't have much for control. You don't have any predictability. It's not very reliable. It can be, but it takes time to build up, right? This is a long-term play. That's it. It's, it's always going to be that way. It takes time for it takes time for the content to go out. It takes time for stuff to start gaining traction. It can be more powerful. Deals can get done a lot quicker, but it has its limitations. And you have zero ownership. Zero. Zilch. That's it. No ownership. But what that means is it doesn't matter where you're marketing. If you're marketing Facebook, Instagram, wherever the case may be, they can kick you off tomorrow. And then what? You're back at square one. You're back to zero. With paid marketing, and you know, I'll cross it over into offline marketing, you have full ownership over your list. Right? And that's huge. It doesn't matter if you get disconnected. It doesn't matter if Facebook goes down tomorrow you're still gonna have that list of people that you can market to. <laughs> like, you, could, you, you have control over the content going out. It's evergreen. If you have an effective strategy, as long as you're keeping it running, it's going to keep producing. It's gonna be predictable. It's gonna be reliable. You can take a step away. You can spend time with the family, like with, with the spouse, with your kids. You can go enjoy your hobbies. You don't have to worry about the guilt, the blame, the shame or anything. You don't have to worry about not being focused and not being present because you know that the paid strategies, that the paid marketing is going to be working for you, is going to be bringing people in. And if you have strong backend systems, you know that things are going to be managed and there's going to be things are going to be responsive, right? You know that once they come into that funnel, it's gonna be that there's gonna be a response. Organically, it relies on you, and that's it. I mean, yeah, yeah, great. Like you can outsource it. There's ways that you can automate it, right? The only way to automate it is to hire somebody to do it for you. Rely on somebody to be there. Rely on somebody to pump that content out, to engage with the network, to do all those things. But the thing is, you want to get them offline as soon as possible. You want to get their permission to stay in contact with them. You want to get permission to communicate with them. Whether it's over text, whether it's over phone calls, applications, whatever the case may be, you want that permission. You want to get them offline as quick as possible. You want that ownership, right? The money is in the list and the dollars in the follow-up. Organically, people often don't care about what you have to say. There's going to be, a, just because they're following you, just because you have... 50, 100, 200,000 people following you doesn't mean they give a crap about what you have to say. It doesn't mean they want to hear you. It doesn't mean they want to listen to you, right? On the paid side, it's very much the same. When the ads are running, stuff like that, there's going to be a lot of people pass it by, whatever. They don't care. There's a lot of stuff that's getting thrown in our faces all the time. But the fact of the matter is, <clears throat> is paid is really the only way to be predictable and sustainable, at least in the short term. Like you don't have to worry about walking away on a vacation or going on a funeral or whatever and having everything crash and burn because you're not being there. It's not, it's not being managed for you, right? Just the, the automated automation is huge, 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 huge. And then on, on the back end, with the right technology, you don't have to worry about this stuff so much. It's not going to be a hit if one of your team members needs to go away because you can plug somebody in and they could just look at the system and run 
with very minimal training. Not only that, but you can track everything. You can measure everything. If there is, if there's a hole, if there's a flaw, if there's, if things are falling apart at a, say you hit, here's your process, right? You got your process. Say you're going like, yeah, you know, 100% here, 90% here, 30% here, 50% here, 100% here. Whatever your process is, however, say there's five steps in your process. 100% of people hit this step and carry on. 90% of people hit this step and carry on. There's a big drop here, about 30% of people who hit this step carry on. Then you got 50% here, and then of those 50%, 100% of those carry on to the next step. With the proper system in place, whether it's your, with your marketing, with your sales, this, this, this concept applies all across the board. You can measure, you can track all of this. So you know, okay, well, you know what? Right here, this requires work. What can we do to improve? And I know that to be true. I hope that helps, guys. Uh, this is my views on organic versus paid. I There's huge value in it. I don't know why I put an X there. There's huge value in the organic stuff. It's very powerful, but... It relies, it like it's it's totally rely. It totally need it needs babysitting. That's it. There's only there's no other way to put it. It it needs a constant babysitting. It needs somebody to be there constantly, 24/7, 365, which is great. It's a great way to get familiarity, trust, but without the control, the predictability, the ownership. I mean, there's just too much risk. Paid ads. You get them running, they're running forever. You can get kicked off. You know exactly what needs to happen to start it up all over again. You're not worrying about that traction to build up and taking forever to build up again. So I hope this helps, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Great day. Don't forget to smash that like button, smash that follow button, and we will stay in touch. Cheers.